Troy Mays farms about 7,000 acres near Pearson, Manitoba. And like many farmers these days, his lineup includes plenty of late model, high capacity farm equipment. But right now, he's enjoying a truck built during a time when farms and farm equipment were a lot smaller. It's a 1937 Plymouth half ton. Yes, you heard that right. There was a time when Plymouth was in the truck manufacturing business. They made them for four years, uh, 1937 being the first year through 1941. And uh, don't know the production numbers, how many were made, but they are extremely rare. Uh, most people don't realize that Plymouth made a pickup even. Even though the truck itself is quite rare, the engine under the hood is much more well known, especially in older equipment. It's a 202, uh, I believe it is, uh, six-cylinder um, flathead Chrysler engine. Uh, same engine they've had for years. Uh, the displacement's changed a little bit over the time, but um, it's a three-speed uh, uh, manual transmission on the floor. Mays bought this truck at the Barrett-Jackson auction sale in Scottsdale, Arizona. He was at the sale mainly for enjoyment, but decided to buy a bidder's pass and get in on the action. Even though Mays was originally interested mainly in pickup trucks from the 1950s, he just couldn't pass up the deal when the bidding started on this unit. He was bringing the same kind of money as the 50s ones were, and this is a, a, extremely rare compared to the 50s pickups. There's lots of them around, and uh, uh, that's what appealed to me, I guess, the, just the way this one was done up and how rare it is. What you see here is pretty much how the truck looked when Mays bought it. The previous owner had it restored to like new condition and then decided to add some additional features. It's nicer than original. I mean, it didn't come out with the wide white wall tires, I'm sure. Um, so the guy that restored it has kind of went extra, I guess, on the... Uh, um, I don't think it had a chrome bumper when it came out, I understand. He, uh, he put one of them on and just to dress it up a bit. But the, most of it is all original the way it would have come out. After buying the truck, Mays was given the opportunity to meet with the previous owner and discuss some of the details of the restoration project. It took him five years. He didn't do the work himself. He has a, a shop that does it. Uh, took five years, apparently, to restore this truck. Um, completely done the powertrain, uh, motor. Uh, so I got the receipts that went with it. Uh, there's over $4,000 spent on the motor alone, just uh, balanced in the whole bit. He declined to say what he paid for this truck, but he plans to get it professionally appraised at some point in the near future. I got quite a bit of money tied up in it, just from what I paid for it, the time I got it uh, covered, or enclosed carrier at home, and, and uh, difference in the exchange rate and everything. Um, so I, I'm not sure if I get my value out of it, what I got in it right now, but it's one of them things that's uh, rare, that I think the value will only go up if I can keep it looking good. It's been about two years since Mays acquired this truck, and he has enjoyed sharing it with friends and neighbors, especially those who are surprised to discover the Plymouth name on the truck. He expects to keep it for a while yet, but admits he might be persuaded to sell it if someone makes him an offer substantial enough to change his mind.